we have left St. George and we are on our way to our boondocking spot by Mount Carmel um, and Zion. But we took this little shortcut through the Coral Pink Sand Dunes and this is the visitor center. So we're gonna go check this out and just show you around a little bit. Uh, the fees here are $10 to get in to actually to do anything on the sand dunes. You can go sandboarding, that's $25 to rent the board. You can camp here for $25 or $35 if you want full hookups. Welcome to Tigner Adventures. This is the uh, Pink Coral Sand Dunes in Utah. And then this is the campground. This is the area that has the full hookups. And then if you continue down this little road to the left, it does break out into uh, more camping areas available. It's a pretty small visitor center, but it gives you a few key ideas about the area. We're just gonna take a look inside here. Looks like they got a display of some of the different little animals that you find here. Nice looking golden eagle. Look at these nice spiders, bugs. Got some, see if I can get the glare off the screen here. Look at those scorpions, butterflies. Fun. Look at the little mouse back there. Uh, the circle of life. This little guy over here. Look at this big old snake. That is a gopher snake. That's what that is. And that's his dinner back there. Ninette's not really that happy about that whole idea. But hey, everybody's got to eat. So, it's how the desert works. How about this area display sands from around the world? All these different sands, it's pretty cool. And then to top it off, we got a nice little display of another golden eagle and a snake. This is a rattlesnake, so it's a little different than the one that we were showing just below here. We showed you this picture last year when we visited the sand dunes, and we'll put a um, link to the video in our description below for last year. Big sandbox. Look, Tansy. Hi. You want to get down and get Hi, your Hi, Tansy, what you doing? Huh? Sand in your claws. You wanna get some sand in your claws? Yeah, check this out. She goes, I like this bush, Mom. And the road is kind of scary, too. Tansy has spotted a lizard. Where is it, Tansy? Go get it. Ooh, ooh, yeah. And now we're gonna show you some of the things on the outside of the park for boondocking that we think that will work good for this particular area and it's a good jump off point for everything in the area. It's uh, got a really nice view where we're parked here and it looks like it does get busy from time to time. Right at the bottom of the hill here is the turn that we took last year to go to the belly of the dragon and you can see that this is a pretty popular little area. It's a great little boondocking area but the ATVs come down here so you get, do get a lot of extra traffic. <laughs> okay, well, that ends this uh, video. It was, um, we're just going to end it here where the boondocking spot is really great. It's a great uh, uh, launch point to go to a lot of places around here, but uh, mm -hmm. just going through uh, um, the pink coral sand dunes was pretty interesting, and, and uh, these boondocking places are pretty interesting. So from here, we're going to head off into Zion, and we'll show you around Zion National Park. But for now, mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and end this video and um, just say that it was fun. Yeah, Tansy wanted to catch some lizards, but she never could actually catch one. So. <laughs> she wouldn't know what to do with it if she and caught she one. And she got some sandy paws she didn't like. But yeah. she sure looked pretty against that nice coral sand. She was yeah. white and pretty. <laughs> well, thanks for following us, and uh, we'll see you on down the road. And if not, then we'll just uh, catch you on our next video. So take care. Bye. <laughs>